Well, Joanne, older women have been looking to hormone replacement therapy for decades to feel better and fight the effects of menopause. But the FDA and most doctors will tell you that it comes with risks, like a higher chance of cancer or stroke. But as we showed you in our latest investigation, HRC Medical has been telling patients just the opposite. So the question tonight, is the company still up to what many say are its old tricks? Nobody's done a test on the particular cocktail of hormones that they were inserting into people. In Tennessee, where HRC is based, the attorney general there slapped the company with a civil lawsuit, saying it's not telling clients the whole story about serious possible side effects to their treatments, things like heart disease, breast cancer, and dementia. That complaint has nearly crippled HRC, so here in Michigan, their clinics were recently sold to Legacy Medical, a different company providing the same kinds of therapy. They're using some of the same staff and doctors, but 7 Action News wanted to see if they're making the same statement that the FDA says can be dangerous. Just sign in there and then we have, we have a seat in our lobby and just fill this out. So we sent an undercover producer inside its Wixom clinic. Right off the bat, she was told that more traditional synthetic therapy was what she needed to worry about. But Legacy's so-called bioidentical natural therapy, it would never cause cancer. It's all natural. Okay. It's all natural. So there's synthetic. no evidence that the natural causes it. No, like synthetics okay. do. It's a serious um, statement that they made that, that we uh, would, would have a big problem with. Here in Michigan, doctors like Beaumont's Mark Dykowski are worried too. It's potentially giving patients false hope that what they're going to be doing is without risk, but nothing is without risk. No medicine is without risk. Since our investigation aired Monday night, we've received emails and comments from HRC clients here in Michigan who believe their health ailments were caused by their recent therapy. I was made ill by too much testosterone, wrote one patient. I can hardly make it out of bed, said another. And a third viewer fears his wife's recent diagnosis was a result of her HRC therapy. My wife was told she has uterine cancer, he wrote. He said the diagnosis came less than a year after she started receiving therapy from HRC. As a man, he wrote, I feel that I should have protected my wife. Now, for weeks, we have been trying to reach Legacy Medical's owners for comment on this story. They have not called us back, but many of its doctors say they are convinced that their therapy is not associated with those side effects that the FDA warns about. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.